A cup of coffee brings people from all backgrounds together, and today on The Specialty Project, we're gonna see how that became the mission of Backstage Coffee. We're here with Mackenzie, the owner of Backstage Coffee at the Farmers and Makers Market in Greenville. Thanks so much for being with us. Of course, thank you. So what is the story of how you created Backstage Coffee? Yeah, I, um, I'd always really loved going to coffee shops um, as a college student, teenager, um, and just really felt um, attracted to them and like walking into them and just the, how it brought so many people together from all different walks of life and I would sit at coffee shops for hours. Hey Kenzie, so what has your experience been like being an openly gay business owner here in EMC? Yeah, um, my experience personally has been really awesome. Like I said, there's been a bunch of, I've seen a bunch of people come in here and you know, thank me for being who I am loudly and openly. Um, and for me, it really, it doesn't really feel like it's on purpose in a way. Yeah. Like it's, it felt like a byproduct of just being who I am. And then I ended up being this example for a lot of people. Um, and that's been really special to me. And what do you hope to see in the future with the LGBTQ plus community? Are you hoping that this will inspire other people in the community to start their own businesses? Or are you kind of partnering with other charities, or organizations to support other people in the community? Yeah, I mean, I think the more representation that people have is really what's helpful. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for me is just to be like, to not shy away from talking about it, to not hide it away or anything like that. It just be open and encourage other people to be open, encourage other people to do the things they want to do regardless of things that might be holding them back. I love that. And speaking of doing things that we want to do, we're going to make some awesome coffee drinks in just a second because you got some, a couple pride inspired coffee beverages. Yeah. Awesome. So we are on the couch and now we're behind the bar with Mackenzie and she's going to show us a couple of her pride inspired drinks. So what are we starting off with? We are going to make a We Are Who We Are, which is a oat milk lavender iced latte. Perfect. So what is the first step? We are going to pull a shot of espresso. And while we do that, I'm going to put some house made lavender syrup in here, some oat milk, and then I'm going to get some ice and then give it a stir. And then we're gonna add some rainbow sprinkles to top it all off. Mackenzie, so that last drink looked fantastic. What's our next drink? Yes, we are going to be making a I'm Coming Out by Diana Ross. Perfect. How important is this drink for people's massive life moments with coming out? Yeah, for sure. Um, I think coming out is so personal and unique to every person. I mean, the, what I did is different than what my fiance did. Other people in my life have done. Um, so this drink, I think, is just supposed to celebrate all of the ways that we can do that and that we do do that every day. I love it. So what is the next step in making this drink? All right, so we're gonna add some of my cold brew. Now I'm going to whip up some cold foam. These things are so cool. Yeah, they're fun. What would you say your favorite part of making a coffee beverage is? Hmm. I think there's the creativity of it, um, which what we talked about earlier, like I can get really fun with it and I think that's, that's my favorite part and everyone else's favorite part, especially about backstage. I think I add a lot of flair to really classic coffee and that's my favorite part. And now we add some sparkly sprinkles. You gotta have sparkles, especially oh, yeah. during Pride Month. <laughs> Mackenzie, thank you so much for telling us your story about Backstage Coffee and how it came to be and for these delicious coffee beverages. Of course, thank you guys for being here. I'm excited. I can't wait to try it out and y'all make sure to come back to Hello ENC every week to discover the unique careers that make ENC a destination to be.